Last week you started your cubist guitar project and we started by doing the background. So step one was to cut out the sheet music, dividing your paper into sections with crayon, and then completing the watercolor um, sections with three to four colors. This one obviously just shows you the blue, but all of those other white spaces would be filled in as well. So if you didn't finish that last time, that's your job. Today you're going to be starting to do a little guitar practice. And I'll leave these on the screen and I'll actually pause the video in a moment to give you some practice time. But I want to show you what I would do if I were to practice these guitar drawings. So when I'm looking at them, I'm going to look at the basic shapes. Remembering that this is going to be abstracted, so if I make mistakes, it's really not that big of a deal because a lot of that is going to be covered up or cut apart later anyway. So I started with this basic shape. The neck of the guitar I'm going to complete with just a rectangle. And then the top, making it a little bit wider, I can think about, you know, shaping the top of it if I want to, but again, it's not a huge deal because this is all about abstraction anyway. <clears throat> but I do want you to get these basic designs down so it actually looks like the instrument. So I'm gonna go in, looking at those details, there's a little opening, two openings actually at the top, where we can see the strings attached. Down here at the bottom, I see a circle and I'm going to draw a smaller circle on the inside of that. And this rectangle at the bottom where the strings would attach. The strings themselves can be a little bit random. I'm actually not going to show how they're actually attached, but I do want to put them generally in the right spot. Okay. If you want to pay attention to the three-dimensional quality of the guitar, you could go in and show a little bit of that. Remembering that um, Picasso showed more than one side. So even if, again, if it looks off a little bit, it's okay, it doesn't really matter. So this one shows you one that's a little more complete. So I even ended up kind of zooming in on one that ended up getting to be kind of a weird shape, but I just went with it. Um, I did some overlapping just to fill in the space. So looking for fun details and interesting shapes, what stands out to you? And maybe some little things could be changed. Like for these, I actually changed the shape, made them more diamond shapes. Or if you want to stick with a more standard, simple shape, you can. On the back, I did one that was a little more abstracted. So as an option, practice your abstraction on the back or even on the front. I angled some of the guitar strings. I put things in different spaces. I'm showing both the left side and the right side. So again, this is optional, but it's a way for you to kind of push your abstraction a little bit further as we move on to the next part. So at this point, I'm going to be pausing the video. These guitars are going to be visible for you, and I'll put my drawings here as well so you can use those as a guide for how you can practice your own guitars. The next step, now that you've finished practicing your guitars, the next step is going to be to complete the collage. I have three different pieces of paper here. and scissors, which was all the way at my desk. Sorry for that big pause. And what I did on mine, on my examples that you'll see on the wall, is I just kind of cut out a shape to start my initial overlapping. I'll use these two lighter colors for now. And I'm just going to attach those together using a small amount of glue just to get those two pieces connected. Really thin line of glue and press down. Then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw my guitar, how I want it to be. I could use this as kind of a halfway point if I want to. And again, looking at these basic shapes of my practice drawings, I'm gonna draw my guitar. You'll notice that the paper I'm using is quite a bit smaller than yours will be, just so you can see the entire drawing as I go. And the things will be, um, overlapped and these are just options so this piece for instance I'm gonna just cut out a circle 
And I'm gonna glue that on top. I'm also going to use this for the little bar at the bottom. And these would just be options. You wouldn't have to cut these out. These things could also be drawn with pencil. And then you're gonna be overlapping that pencil with black crayon later. I'm gonna go in and use just a corner of this for the neck shape. Have that coming up and then maybe I'll use this lighter color. I know it's hard for you to see some of those shapes overlapping. I'll use this lighter color for the top. For um, the little tuning keys, I am going to be drawing those with crayon, but I could also have those cut out of a different piece of the paper. So attaching that down. The black crayon is gonna be used for outlining. As I do this, you'll hopefully be able to see those edges a little bit better on the screen. And then you can also use this for the strings. And again, remembering that it's gonna be abstracted anyway. So if you don't have the exact number of strings as a real guitar, it's okay. I'm just gonna bend those up. And pressing down so it can be seen. But again, remembering that this will be cut up into separate sections later. We'll be doing that next week. So I'll add a fourth string here. The last step that you would do today, if there is time, would be to cut out your whole guitar. Keeping the big scraps for other students to use for this project, taking the small scraps to the trash. Now I did not add any extra details to the top, but I could always add those later with construction paper too. Or I could draw them on and cut around them. Each of you are gonna be using this construction paper in different ways. Some of you might add more decorations. Some of you might add like the bottom side or a side edge of the guitar and I'll show you how you can do that. I left a little space underneath my black line and then I could just use a brown crayon or cut out another piece of paper to make that look kind of like a shadow. Like this is another edge of the guitar. Another perspective, another side that we're seeing. Since this is a darker paper, I'll use black to make my shadow on this part. And I can go in, I could add a circle here. I could add some decorations, just add some little lines. All of those little details can help make yours look more interesting. Okay, so your goal today is to complete any painting that you need to finish from last week. Then you'll be practicing your guitars. Then you'll be moving on to the construction paper collage work for your final guitar.